Yeah, I know I come in and help Charlie when he goes over his portion of his uh, curriculum with clanships. Uh, he, he explains it. Uh, we get, it gets kind of confusing, I think, at times. Uh, but from the Hidatsa and Mandan side, you have the, the clanships they have. That what we have left is seven clans. You have your three clan members and your four clan members. My mother was a four clan member, so that's what I'm a member of. And it was from her mother and her mother. So like when he said you take, you, it's passed down from the mother's side. Uh, so we try to explain that to kids, you know, to break it down to our students and saying, if your mother has a clan, that's what you're a member of. Now, if your father has a clan, you're a child of that clan. So my father was a member of a three clan, um, so I'm a child of that. So that goes where um, Jerome and Charlene, and their dad was a four clan member, the same clan I was. So they're a child of it, and that's where it explains where I'm, I'd be their clan father, clan uncle. So on your on your dad's side, your clan side on that, you know, you, they have a, you have a lot of respect for them. They're the ones who are gonna take care of you after you, like you said, after you leave, you know. But also while you're here, you acknowledge them, um, and, and a lot of stuff like he said, give it to the, the gift he said. <laughs> so I mean, you, you acknowledge that, and when you go back to your clan side, like my mother, even though she's a Rikara, we're, we're a Rikara, but they're we're Hidatsa too. She, she has a clan, so her siblings are. My siblings were considered siblings, so my uncles, my blood uncles, her, her brothers and her sisters would be my brother, my big brothers and big sisters. So we try to break it down where the students understand it, so we can tease each other. So I, when I get a chance to tease her brothers, my uncles, I, oh, I tease them. <laughs> uh, that's my enjoyment. And like Jerome said, we, you know, families, they have a lot of humor. Uh, you find a lot of humor and stuff. Uh, same thing, you, you know, they get the ones who can dish it out, we got to receive it too. Uh, and then I have a lot of that with some uncles on my dad's side that would, they, they really tease us, you know, we can't say nothing, we gotta, we gotta take it. And, uh, but that's the, the respect part, like he said, and growing up having that instilled in us too, where you, you know right and wrong from that, you don't question it. And so I was fortunate enough on that, and our Rikara side with our societies, we have a couple societies, I belong to two of them as well. Um, fortunate on that, uh, one is the Old Scout Society I belong to, uh, that's coming a long line of our uh, Arikara scouts dating back to 1800s and before that. So I'm a descendant of that as well, direct descendant of that. Uh, myself being in the military as well, a veteran having been in combat and overseas. And even to today, I'm still a part of the military. Um, so I take a lot of pride in that. Uh, my siblings a little bit too with that. Both All my siblings were all in the military. And, you know, can we help out, you know, when we, we have an opportunity to or if we have stuff coming up. But also one of our other, other societies I belong to, I help with, is I'm, uh, I help with the drum, taking care of the drum for our society. Uh, that's been a position passed down from the same thing a lot, of, a lot of years, a lot of generations. And being passed to me from one of my uncles. And so I'm fortunate enough to help with that. Um, that's been quite a few years now. But that's, you know, as a society, we have, we have, like he said, different positions. He's held a few. Um, in ours there, we have different ones who have different roles, different stuff. And, and you have to, the biggest thing is learning to, uh, growing up is understanding that. I didn't kind of understand it growing up a lot. We never questioned anything either, but it's, yeah. so it's kind of, kind of interesting seeing it now, how many years later, uh, these, these different things being passed on. Uh, like myself, I don't consider myself very old, I guess. <laughs> Um, but being fortunate enough growing up, seeing a lot of that, uh, being around a lot of that, and helping, uh, like my parents helped a lot with a lot of that, my grandparents. Um, so and my dad, like with our society, he sang a lot for a lot of the events, a lot of the functions, so having to be, tag along with him all the time. <laughs> um, seen a lot of that, heard a lot of the songs, I uh, was fortunate enough to learn quite a few of them, and, and kind of learned that route of that, and he, like I said, we just, you know, when we're called upon or asked upon, you know, we're told never to say no. You help as best you can because one time we're going to be in a hardship and, you know, you're going to have to ask somebody for help too as well. So that's, I guess that was one of the biggest teachings that we still carry on to today. <laughs>